that's what we do when we're a bit small. We have to do something to get them to see us, notice right. us. Here we go. Lime Hall, Jaheim Williams in goal. The man is still the captain, Carlos Campbell, Kevin Graham, veteran of these of, of, of this competition, Sajay Anderson, Latroy Leng, Shaquille Kane, Zidane Brown, Javon Ellis, Ronaldo Brown, and Michael Edwards, head coach David Price. And they have the son of uh, the St. Anne's most famous footballing Rastaman, Danny Beckford, <laughs> uh, the president of the FA, his son Imani wears the number 15. He starts on the bench this afternoon. Yeah, when he's on the park, you can't miss him. Dreadlocks just the same. But yeah, they've ditched the 4 2 3 1 system and they're looking to go more attacking with the 4 3 3. For Cavalier, in their traditional colors. Jadine White wears number 31, he's in goal. Giovanni Leng, Kyle May, Orlando Russell, Jalmara Calvin, Chris Ainsworth, we spoke about him at the top. Jaheim Fraser, Shanil Thomas, Shamara Watson, Mario Smith, Jerome McCleary. Good to see uh, Nicochet Murray on the bench, number eight. He plays in the position of a number six, but he wears number eight. Rudolph Speed is the technical director. Yeah, and they look to three, the 3-4-1-2 three, formation. And uh, interestingly for them today, uh, number four in... So we began under tough conditions. Watson flipping this cross in Ainsworth. I give him the benefit of the doubt, saying that the uneven surface caused him to misjudge the bounce of the ball. Shanil Thomas really ought to have scored there. Skimmed off his forehead. And this cross once again at the back post. Thomas gathers. Another missed header. And then Kevin Grill, the moment of quality in the game, running through, through the hands of Jadine White for 1-0. And that's how Lime Hall found the lead. That goal really ought to have been the winner. Kevin Graham beating his chest, exultant. Ainsworth. Fraser, header missed. And you're seeing so many set-piece opportunities because that's how Cavalier manufactured the bulk of their dangerous moments or created the bulk of the dangerous moments that they did create. Kyle Ming there, running through, not getting the header on target. Brave from Jaheim Williams, fell heavily and required lengthy treatment from that. Kane turning this one behind. Ling. A lot of power but no direction and then here's Hansen through on goal expected some quality from him but couldn't be JD in white effort not good enough cross digging out the cross and Ling with the body there ensuring that there wasn't an easy header to capitalize on Henry on target but those won't beat J.D. right and then this. Giovanni Leng spreads the play. Leng dives in, shouldn't have dived in, shouldn't have sold himself. Ainsworth finds a good cross that was turned home by Ronaldo Robinson. The Lime Hall players screamed foul because they said, ref, it was hands. He used his arm and the replay, every angle of the replay is showing you that Ronaldo Robinson used his left arm to turn the ball home. That ought not to have counted with our speed. We'll enjoy that nonetheless. Look at Robinson. Not quite sure how to celebrate. But yeah, referee Hayden missed that one. And on that point, the game turned from Lime Hall 1. Cavalier nil to 1-1. One, one. 10 shots by Lime Hall, 5 on target. Cavalier 16 shots, only 2 on target. There were 27 fouls, 5 yellow cards. No red cards, of course. 18 corners. Cavalier, 18 corners. Lime Hall, none. Cavalier had the ball for 58% of the time. And they finished 1-1. Cavalier stealing a point at the end with a goal that ought not to have stood. Dwight Jeremiah is downstairs with a uh, forlorn-looking Javon Ellis, or man of the match, the Cavalier, the Lime Hall number 8. Javon, you gave everything. I don't think there's a thread on your jersey or shorts that didn't get wet today. You were excellent shielding that back line. Almost every time the Cavalier came at you, you were the one there intercepting. How difficult was it for you to really walk away with just a point today? Well, it's a very, very difficult, it's a very, very hard feeling right now to explain right now. It's very tough. 
as you can see, we give our, our all, you know, we stuck to the tasks the coach asked us to do and, you know, put in the work. And we should have got a result out of this game, but, you know, unfortunately, it's tough, it's football. And we play against a very, you know, a very well coached team. They are the um, Kanka Cup champion, as you can see. So we are a new team and it's very hard and we're just, you know, developing. So, so talk to me about your performance though. We felt it was that good, that's why you're standing before me now. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Well, I'm a very confident person. My first start of the season and um, it's the injury that kept me out of the other two games. And I always believe in myself, you know, just work hard, work hard and the result will come. And we nearly get the result today. Well, I guess yeah. with that performance, you'll